everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. You're tuned into the NFL on EA Sports. Today's matchup features a very good defense. The Jags are the least scored on team in the league, and they'll be up against the Colts offense that will need to rise to the occasion. With that, let's hand it over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. They've got the call in this week's six matchup. Larry first opened in 1995. There's a look inside Everbank Field here in the river city of Jacksonville, Florida. Today, it's a good matchup in the AFC South between the Indianapolis Colts and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you look at this Jaguar team. They're off to a terrific start, unbeaten at 5-0 through the first month and change. And you can hang a lot of this early success on their defense, too. They're the tone setters for these guys, and the entire team feeds off of what they do. Meanwhile, for the visiting Colts, they're hitting their stride of late. Winners of three of their last four. Set to go now in week six of the NFL season, and we are underway on EA Sports. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. So here's the first drive now for the Jags. And led out by their veteran quarterback. He's been around a while. They don't celebrate birthdays for him. They just cut him up, see how many rings he's got around the middle. He has been in the league a long time. some space up to about the 25. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Playing as a 3-4 front is really challenging for offensive linemen because they can do so many different things. But when you're running the football, if you can handle the nose tackle up front, and it may be a guard can slide up to the second level and block a linebacker, that's when you have success running the football. They give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so it'll be third and about the length of the football. Everyone's looking for the big runs, the explosive runs, the 20 to 30 yard plays. But anytime you're picking up good yardage and setting yourself up on down and distance, offenses love that too. And he's gonna have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30 yard line. But that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. And he's got it. Got his man on the end round. Complete. 12 yards there as they move the chains. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. A gain of three, second down. And a lot of the weight of this offense falls on the shoulders of the running back. That's because the offense knows if they give him any openings, any opportunities, he can turn it into a big play at any time. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. So the Colts now coming out for their opening drive. And they'll be led out by their quarterback, the Stanford man. It's Andrew Luck. I love everything about Andrew Luck's game, but I also love his worldliness. Some of his formative years were spent growing up outside of the United States. And I think that that's helped him when he came back because now he's seen the world 
I think that helped him mature a little bit as well. On first down, Love. And he's got his man on the out route. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. So here we go, first and 10 now. They'll give it to him right up the gut. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And the offense on the field for the first time today, and they were high-powered a week ago. And they're beginning to believe that they've established a groove. They expect those type of performances each and every week. Running it, throwing it, they're precise. Second down following the run. And on the ground they go with a running back. Call it a gain of four there, so it sets up a big play here. Third and a yard. And for Jacksonville, their defensive starters, the youngster, the rookie out of UCLA, Miles Jack, a guy to watch. You have to watch him because he can make a big play from just about anywhere on the field. Top five talent. Ends up going number 36 because of a knee injury his last year at UCLA. They'll use him all over the place for matchup situations, and he will wreak havoc. And the Jags have five in the secondary here on third down. And he's got Rodgers. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. the block in the back. Offense. Play action. It's locked. Looking deep downfield. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on in its second down. On every offensive coordinator, every play caller sheet, they have about five or six plays per game that they call shot plays or big plays, and you don't get many opportunities to dial them up, and they just did, and they drop it with a great chance to make a big play. That's going to hurt. Just a couple there on the second down run. Now they're staring at a third and eight situation. Lead the 39 here for a first. This is third down. Throwing on third down. Luck. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. One of the best routes. the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. Seven yards on the pick up there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Now that's the way you want to start a drive. Talk about a tone setter as well as a playbook opener. Now if you want to take a big shot over the top, you're all positioned to do so. They'll fake it. Now lock. And incomplete on the deep ball. Lock on third down. And he will find his man on the outside. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Face mask. Defense. Got the hand caught up in the grill of the face mask. 15-yard penalty. So tough for a defender. You're trying so hard to make a play, and the way that these offensive guys can move around, sometimes your hand gets into the wrong place. Dance now a hit and lock. Lost the football. It's out. And the Jags grab it. And he's into the clear. And he brings 
this one back. A fumble return for a Jacksonville score. So the defense forces the fumble. They get the score. And a guy on defense becoming offensive there, Charles. And you know they love that. Any guy on defense loves to pick up the ball and have it in his hands and try and score himself. In this case, that's exactly what happened. We'll be singing in the shower post game. Start of this next possession, the score, 7 0. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Really held him to a short gain on that one. And it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So, how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. Eluding the pressure right. Looking sideline incomplete. Third down here for the offense after the incomplete pass. From the gun on third down, Locke. And he's got his man on the out route. Seven yards on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. Well, it wasn't a big strike, but that completion put them in really great range. What do we have now, fourth and inches? Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. You know what I would do here. You would always go for it. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. And this will be taken at the 13. <laughs> a very good return that time. 18 yards, and the Jaguars go on offense. Reception. This offense will get another shot at it as they quickly head back onto the field. The Colts now, their offense works their way back onto the field. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. A little soul searching now? I would say so. And they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on the yeah, field a lot position. more than normal, put them in some tough spots. But what's the old adage? When you get another chance, it gives you a better chance to do it right. To throw on second down is Locke. And he will find his man on the outside. And he'll be out of bounds up past the 45. Well, we saw the practice film this week. They wanted to focus on these intermediate passing plays, and it paid off there. And they took that focus not just to the practice field, but in the film room to show the guys exactly what they wanted, what types of looks they should expect to get, and how they would beat those coverages. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down of the sack. Two minutes remain here in the first half. Back with more from Jacksonville. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back after this. Here's Luck now on second down. And he's got his man on the out route. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Third down now following the completed pass. Now a play fake and it's Luck. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. They go play action here on first down. And this one's incomplete. So they're still at the original line of scrimmage here. Second down and 10. Off of play action. Luck. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. 
it's always a good play when you're able to bat a ball away or down because if you actually tip it in the air, now the offense is getting a second shot at catching the football or another receiver may come along and grab it out of the air and turn it into a big play. So if you make a play on the ball, make sure it's knocked away or down. Otherwise, it could be some jeopardy. They pick up 12 on the play there and they move the chains. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it now. The confidence is starting to rise. I think now as a play caller, because that has happened, you lean on it a little bit more. You don't go totally away from running the football, but you do say, guess what? We can throw it. We can throw it well with a whole lot of confidence. They'll come out in the pistol. Again, Luck. That's caught at the two. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Simple slant route and part of a really nice hard throw by the quarterback. Nice timing between the quarterback and the receiver. They were perfectly in sync, and he put it right on him on the inside route. They come out here in the eye. So now it's first and goal, and he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. And a really long drive here, and it goes on and on. Partner, we're into the second quarter, and I guess you can kind of look at it both ways. The offense, they've got to figure out what they're going to do because they haven't scored any points. But you're the... Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. A long drive here. Play 12 coming up for the offense. Now lock on third and goal. That's caught at the one. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Their big tight end as the first half is winding down. And the Colts have got it back to a one-score game. Well, this could be a big turnaround. They get the touchdown here in the final moments of the second quarter. And remember, Charles, they're going to get the ball to start quarter number three as well. This offense ready to get back out there as they'll have the football to start the third quarter. Out come the Colts. They'll have it first here to start quarter number three. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. And teams have a tough time running the balls. This one has throughout this game. It's so easy to just say, forget it. Let's throw the football. But that's exactly why you stay with the running game. Eventually, you stick with it. You make some adjustments. You often find ways to run the ball better as the game goes on. He'll get about three as he's brought down right around the 42. It's been a struggle this entire game trying to move the ball on the ground. But every now and then, you find a little chink in the armor, and that type of run right there lets them know that they can't stop every single run for almost no game. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Play action. It's locked. And he's got his big tight end over the middle, complete. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. It's a first down. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense and reading your keys. You always hear about that and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? That sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and that'll make this a second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Offense just a yard away from the line they need to gain. Third down. Now a handoff 
off here to his running back. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. Third and one, partner. No need to be fancy there. Just use some force and move forward and pick up the first down. Now a play fake here on first down. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. That throw good for four. It's second down. And with this drop off from last week, you know, a guy of his caliber, he doesn't take this very well, does he? No, not at all. And right now it's a matter of who wants to even be around him at this point and who can be around him, maybe to help him settle down or just to listen to him a little bit and let him vent so he can get it out of his system. It's just such a stark difference from what we saw last week. Yeah. You've mentioned many times before how pressure are with his footwork, his decision-making, his reads. For me, his overall athleticism last week, escaping the pocket and creating big plays. We're not seeing that so far. So third and inches, and this will be the ninth play of the drive. And to give this time to the tailback. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. Now, I can't imagine any celebrations being any bigger than your first NFL touchdown. And this rookie running back is still seeking his. He's not going to get it on that play. Luck now to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown. Their dangerous wide receiver, his sixth touchdown of the season, and the Colts are in for six. That's why you've got your star out there. Throw the ball to him. They did. That's simply saying we don't care what coverage you put out there. He's so good. We're going there with the football anyway, and there's not a thing you can do about it. Inside the red zone, they go to him. He gets it done. You into the start of this next possession. The score, 7-0. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right, to be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They may have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Lock on third down. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Final minute now of the third quarter. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Partner, I know that play didn't work very well, but an old New York Giants quarterback taught me a lesson a long time ago. Sometimes running the draw actually takes courage and play calling. You're actually setting something up for later in the game, and just because it was unsuccessful then doesn't mean it won't be successful later. Well, there really wasn't much there, but a completion is a completion. A tough third down awaits them. And he'll give it here to his running back. And a short gain here, down to the 22. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Colts. They've got control of the football. They also have the lead as we start the fourth. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the left hash, this from 39. And Santos able to put this one up and through it. football will be at 
the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. And last time able to get three. Is that what they wanted? They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way we do And nothing but daylight ahead. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A great play there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Colts have taken the lead. And those are the highlight real runs you dream of right there. When he gets a seam and just gets through it, how about the explosiveness, the burst to get there to begin with, and then once he's in full gallop, Good luck trying to track him down. And those plays so demoralizing for the defense. Absolutely, because you've done so much work trying to keep people in front of you. When they're past you and behind you, that's a tough one to swallow. into the start of this next possession. The score, 7-0. And the Colts offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because I, they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see how determined they are. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. Brandon, you know how we talk about having wrinkles in a game plan? That was a fold right there. How about that play? Being able to change things up. You think anyone else on the team's going to get the ball? And in that situation, they surprise everyone and give it to their big guy. Second down here after the incomplete pass. But that's the type of pass play that you need to wait for routes to develop. You need a little time in the pocket. But that's hard to do when you got people in your face. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. Give him four on the ground there. They're now left with third and six. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take, puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Pretty nice coverage there, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, hands, a little bit questionable. That'll be out of bounds, and how good was that? They'll say the three-yard line. That's where they spot it. Now here's the signal caller getting ready to lead this offense again. So as you... offense will take over and they will have the football at their own 20 yard line they'll give it to him right up the gut and he will lose yardage on the play back at his own 19 yard line it's a loss of a yard there and now second down when the defensive line controls the offensive front the way we just saw there, it doesn't allow any of the offensive linemen to leak downfield and get to the linebackers and block them on the second level you end up with the type of play we just saw. Linebackers didn't have to fight anyone off, didn't have to knock anyone to the side, didn't have to elude anyone trying to block them. They just saw the play, ran to the ball, and finished things off. They'll give it to him right up the gun. And he's able to get up here to the 26. It's a seven-yard run, but it does bring up fourth down. Okay, he didn't break that one all the way, but you got to know that he feels like he's right on the verge, and that's probably exactly what he's telling them in the huddle right now. time for a break we're back to see what happens after this so the Colts in possession of the football as we get you reset they're looking at a fourth down now as they try to hold on to this lead for dear life 
fielded at the 20. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, give him 15. And the offense. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. So holding by the offense and maybe now got to shift up what you want to do on the playbook. Yeah, definitely. Change what you're doing in the playbook, but boy, the advantage shifts to the guys on defense, doesn't it? Longer yardage situations, they often become bolder. And he will find his man on the outside. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Call it a gain of 13 yards on the play. And that'll bring up second down. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. He's back to throw. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Unable to connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. They'll look to throw. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Back to throw. Wide open receiver complete. 15 yards through the air and a first down. And no press coverage here. They are backing off in the secondary. He'll look to throw. And this is caught at the eight. And they do get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Back to throw. And it's caught. It's a touchdown. So they rally here in the final minute, and they're an extra point away from tying this game. And while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown, they're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. And there's going to be a stoppage here. The booth wants. They had to go to the monitor, get an extra look. That's what the technology is for. And this touchdown will count. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it culminates in a Jags touchdown. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. So bad mistake there by the kickers. The ball goes out of bounds. And as the fourth quarter winds down here, we're all even. And no one wants this game to extend. They want to go ahead and win it right now. Now Luck. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And now the Jags defense deciding to call a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Luck now to throw. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. But depending on the team, they call that an explosive play or a chunk play, the one that they got on the previous one. They tried to go back and get another one, didn't they? They did, but unsuccessful on that second attempt. And this is going to be intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The Jaguars getting set to go. They have a little bit of time here to get into field goal range. Not much. A tie game, you don't want to do anything crazy, right? I agree with you on that one. Risk reward, okay? If you go for it, what is the absolute re and now here's a timeout called by the Colts on the defensive side of the ball. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. Here we go now. 
And they'll run it here. Oh, and you can forget overtime. This is going to be a safety in the final minute of the game. Oh, my. And I don't know that I have ever seen a tie game decided in the final seconds because of a safety. It's just an absolute disaster, Brandon. You're thinking you're going to at least get yourself to overtime. But how about this defense? They said, we're going to take matters into our own hands, and this will be an unbelievable victory if it holds up. Taking it about the 16. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. Two timeouts remaining defensively, but that shouldn't make much difference right here. It really shouldn't, but a lot of coaches look at it similar to baseball with the intentional walk. Always bringing in other right? sports. Always, hey, listen, think about the intentional walk, right? What if one gets past the catcher? What if he uncorks a wild one and now you still have an opportunity? That's why they like to use them all the way through. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. And now the Jags going to signal for another timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And they'll indeed take a knee. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. It'll be their third and final timeout. So as they talk things over, we'll step aside. Oh, this is off the side of his foot. And where did this one go out? Not good. Let's see. And they're going to say inside the 35-yard line. And now it all. And another timeout taken by the Colts. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. And now this game's going to come down to the right leg of their kicker. With three seconds to go, this for the win. And this one is right down Broadway. And the Jaguars have won the game. Well, I know at points in this one, you wanted to close your eyes because of all the points that were being put on the scoreboard, you're a defensive guy, but it was a fun little track meet, wasn't it? It was, and you know the people really enjoyed this game? They're the ones that like going to batting practice at the Major League Baseball <laughs> parks, right? Seeing the 14 to 11 game, that sort of deal, that's right up their alley with what we saw in this one. So for the Jags, they remain as hot as anyone, 6-0 now through the first month and a half. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for the Colts, the loss will move them back to 3-2 on the year. And they'll try to get back on the beam next week as they'll head to Cleveland to take on the Browns. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Jaguars are winners here as we say so long from Jacksonville.